Yes, yes, yes. Guys, how are you guys doing today? Today, what we're going to be talking about is several things. We're going to be talking about, we're also going to talk about some transfer stories. We're going to talk about this, the likes of Zachariah possibly being linked to Arsenal, the likes of uh, Overmars being linked to Newcastle, and him possibly even accepting the Newcastle role. And him being an Arsenal, a former Arsenal player, one of uh, still to this day one of the highest sales Arsenal ever made, known as one of the guys who helped Arsenal win a double. This is a guy we cannot we cannot forget. But over Mars, he's linked to the job. For, he's currently doing a great job at Ajax, linked to the DFO job at Newcastle. We're going to talk about all this plus more in addition to whatever else you guys want to talk about in the chat. So do me a favor, guys. If you haven't already smashed that like button, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And if you're watching on Facebook, join us right now on YouTube. Now, let's get this show started. You already know what it is. EGTV, shout out to the comment section. Yo, and I'm going to ask. Anyone here watch Barcelona, actually? No. Anyone here watch Barcelona? Because we're linked no. to Sergio Roberto on a free transfer. Oh, hell no. Oh, God. We're, oh, looking, no. we're looking at him. I... We're not looking to bring him in as a right back or a left back or anything like that. We're looking to use him as a DM. Oh, oh hell no. In this league. In He's this not league. DM, bro. <laughs> nah. Nah, enough of that. Enough of that. Come on. Nah, um... Yo, guys, I, 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 this is slightly out of a bit of a help topic. Um, does anyone know what happened to um, Dan, um, uh, Suarez? You know, the Suarez guy that came to us a few seasons oh, ago. Dennis Suarez. He's at, he's at Dennis Celta Suarez, Vigo, I think, now. He's at Celta Vigo. <laughs> okay. He's a uh, Sergio Roberto. Roberto um, free transfer. I'll, I'll take him. I'll take him. I just feel like, I mean... It can't be all that bad in comparison to players like if we're going to play him in center as a DM. I mean, players like El Nene, um, Xhaka, you know, players like that. Um, it just gives no, us I'm an extra option, fan. you know, just uh, you know, and it's a free anyway, so why not? The, the reason I wouldn't, right, as well, because the thing with this club, right, they're they're going on about this like project the youth and stuff right and i listen i hate i hate that phrase to begin with because quite honestly it's like if you're going down this route then you better be prepared for inconsistencies in performance because that's what you're going to get right but as far as Sergi roberto goes the guy is not a young kid he's 29 right and the reason why Barcelona are trying to shift them out is because they are in so much debt, right? So the way I see it, Sergio Roberto, Sergio Roberto can stay exactly where he is and Barcelona can fucking rot. Mm -hmm. Yo, let me just... Let me just, let me just do this right now. Guys, there is a Discord server for EGTV... Uh, we are in. We are working in conjunction with this AFTV Discord. It's it's not run by AFTV, of course, but it's run by my, one of my guys, and it's mostly Arsenal uh, Arsenal fans and for uh, and fun. So check out a the AFTV Discord. I'm going to put it in the chat right now. Uh, check it out. The link is in there. Discord. There you go. And yo, you can continue, bro. Yeah. Bruv, I've I've made my opinion on fuck on Sergio Roberto. I don't want him here. I don't I don't like it's like if you sign Sergio Roberto, right? What that does is it goes against everything that the club have said in the summer. So they'd essentially be backtracking, right? It's as simple as that, really. Honestly, it is. It's not even it's not even up for debate. I don't want him here. He can stay at Barcelona. Barcelona can fucking rot. Nah, nah, done. There yeah, any go. anytime you don't, anytime you are looking to get a DM in the Premier League for a top Premier League club, you don't go for a twenty-nine to thirty-year-old player. He's not going to be having the legs in a year or two to run, anyways. And if we want to move forward, obviously we need a youngster. We don't need, we don't need old players now. We are trying to, as uh, already said, we are trying to build our team around young players. So, why do we want to look at him? Barcelona don't have the money. They will try to get rid of their older players and bring in youngsters. 
and yeah, he is anyways a free transfer if they want to keep him they will extend this contract or give him a new deal but i don't yeah. think they even they have the capability or the need for him so why does arsenal yeah but can i say something though in to counter that like um sorry um you know you're talking about trying to build um around young players that's all well and good but don't you feel like we need a bit more one or two more um sort of like experienced players to in conjunction with the young players so it's it's, it's a nice it's this sort of like a nice mix between yeah, uh, so young probably. players and players you know that have yeah. a bit of experience don't you feel but it's already 27 we're linked to another player that Gunnar Express knows quite well Zakaria Dennis so we're going to be talking about him next in a second but wouldn't that be better getting someone who's a lot younger i don't know how old Sergio Roberto is is he closer to 29 so there you go another player reaching 30 we don't want we don't want another socrates type signing yeah but with a signing like that they're not going to give him like a they're not going to give him like a three four year contract it'll probably be like two years max and yeah. then maybe with an option to extend maybe i don't know Let's just move on cuz I think this is a thumbs down for everybody. Am I right? Gunnar Express, would you take Sergio Roberto? I'd take him as a backup right back. He's better than Cedric, better than Chambers, better than Bellerin. Um <clears throat> but as a midfielder, hell no. Not absolutely well, not. He's I, I don't think I've ever so seen him play he, midfield. He, yeah, he's, he's he's versatile. So I mean, no, but I've, that I've, front... that's what I'm saying. I I've never seen him play midfield. So putting him in midfield is 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 blasphemy for me. Uh but as a backup right back back up like I say back up left back we got Tavares you know what I mean like just but I, I agree with the thing about the experience that him being in the dressing room will be helpful in itself because obviously he's played for Barcelona with some big egos like Messi etc so I wouldn't mind him in the, the dressing room or as a backup right back but anything more than a backup right back is, is yeah no not not for me okay he just um, became a backup right back last season he was actually a midfielder right through Okay. Yeah, look at how good Barcelona was. But but not him. We need 27 24 uh 24 to 27 age gap uh, room. Right, okay, well. so let's talk about Dennis Zakaria. Gunnar Express, can you give us the profile of this player because we've been linked to him so many times now. It's starting to get ridiculous. We're linked to him again and apparently it could be a free transfer. Am I wrong? Uh yeah, his contract's running down. Um well, obviously I watched a lot of Gladbach. Uh, I'm literally watching them right now. We're winning against Bayern 3-0 and Zakaria has been immense. Let I tell you what I said we, we've had this conversation a few times ago and every time I've said the only reason why I don't want him is because he's injury prone. I take that back. I don't care. I want him now. Um he's been he's been incredible this season. Easily easily been Gladbach's best player in a mediocre season, but he's been the standout he's like by, by a mile. Um Roma want him. Mourinho's apparently a massive fan and he'd take him on a free. Uh, obviously it's, they they couldn't get Xhaka so Zakaria's the other option. Bayern have been said to be interested on a free, but they probably won't go through with it. So for me I'd I'd do it. He's he's a Swiss and uh, Swiss international. Um I think he's a definite better replacement than Granit Xhaka is. And again if you can keep the injuries on a down low which is the only worry I have because obviously we see what happened to Pate etc. then it'd be it'd be brilliant like he's been one of the best midfielders in the Bundesliga for the last 3 4 years now and again if you take away his injuries no doubt he'd be one of the best midfielders probably in world football right now and I'll say that I'll say that with chest so yeah I'd take him on a, on a free especially like 100% so yeah it's a no brainer for me he's better than Xhaka better than Elneny better than Odegaard uh so in that number 8 position or number 6 position so yeah no brainer for me just want to add one thing him pate and lokonga that trio looks good so i think we should take him he's 24 as well he still has like maybe around 8 years in his career at least to give in a for a premier league side so i think i can definitely go with him over the likes of sergio roberto man said uh roberto is a older version of anzi plays everywhere which i would not want uh zakaria uh you later bro you a big uh, oh no he's back big up to tim uh, zakaria is uh, the new anzonzi or cavallo or mutwidi uh dm linked to arsenal fc yeah definitely agree um colin have you watched zakaria or do you know much about him i don't watch the bundesliga i'm more of a serie a guy bro but you, you know what if he's as good as you're going to express the saying then Yeah, bring him in, bro. 
Throw them in, bro. Let me change the picture because people like saucy players. This picture looks better. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Arsenal fan base for you guys. Let's be honest. If Zachariah was was more known and high and had more ratings across Europe and more bigger clubs were in for him, like the Man City are currently in for him, we we would be we would be saying get him in now, get him in now. But because but because a lot of people don't really watch the Bundesliga, like Gunnar Express has said numerous times, let's be honest, a lot of people do not really watch the Bundesliga like that. They, they hear about Zachariah and then they say, you know what, just bring him in. He's better than what we got. Even even if they saw the Euros, he was good in the Euros as well. And if it is about the injury-prone problem, then again, if he's coming on a free transfer, we're not spending any money. The only thing that we have to keep in check, that his wages should, shouldn't be too high and probably he should get a two- or three-year deal, not more than that. So, I don't mind. And if, if he has the injury problems and his fitness is an issue, he can always be rotated with Lokonga, Pate being the other two guys. So, we need to get rid of Elneny. We need to get rid of Zaka. We have some Deadwood in midfield still. Ainsley is not a certainty as well. So, if we're getting rid of all those players, one guy like uh, Zakaria is, uh, Zakaria is not a problem. Okay. Um, everyone, give me your final uh, thumbs up or thumbs down on Zakaria. Everyone in the chat also do the same thing. I'll go thumbs up with that one. Thumbs up. What about you, Gunnar Express? Two thumbs up. Okay. Uh, T S G. Um. Yeah. Thumbs up. Okay. And Natish. Free transfer. Good player. Thumbs up. There we go. Everyone's going thumbs up. Everyone is going thumbs up. Okay. Now, on to the final conversation of the day. Should we be concerned over Mars to Newcastle? Should we be concerned? It depends. This is this is what the rumor says. Arsenal icon over Mars will accept the Newcastle DFS job uh, if offered and will start in January. Well, I think this highlights what those new owners are about more than anything else. I don't know if over Mars will be seen at St. James's, but if he does take that job, it just highlights what those owners are about. Because one thing we've learned from the Manchester City owners, from Chelsea with, you know, Roman Abramovich and whatnot, these guys will do whatever it takes to be successful because ultimately it's only going to increase their their the value of their portfolio because these guys have so many other businesses as well that they have their pocket and things like Facebook and all these other things. If Newcastle is something that they make a success out of, ultimately that benefits them. So if Overmars accepts it and Newcastle end up being successful, that only benefits the Saudis. So if anything, it just shows that they are doing what whatever it takes to make a success of this. They've not gone in blind, bro. Like, so if, if it happens, it happens. But we'll just – you just have to wait and see with this, I think, because we don't – that's the thing. It's just a rumour at this point. We don't actually know. So it's just a wait and see approach, I think. Guna Express, would you be concerned if this happened? Uh, what, Overmars to Newcastle? Yes. Uh, yeah, because he's one of the best directors of football in the world. You look at what he's done with Ajax alongside, uh, what is it, Van der Sar. Like, bro, he's brought in some of the best young players in the world uh, who've gone on to be some of the best players in the world. He is an Arsenal legend, so him not being, like, him going to any other Premier League club in itself is a little bit weird. But he's, he's exactly what we need. When we've got someone like Edu, who's absolutely useless, and then, you know, over Mars is actually, let's be honest, he'd take the Arsenal job. He, of course he would. He said it many times that he'd take the Arsenal job if offered it. So the fact that we're sticking with Edu and that I know Newcastle have the new owners and I understand that they will be one of the biggest teams probably in England within the next 10 years. But this should be us. Again, it, it's this other clubs showing ambition um, and that we're not. I think we can all agree that Edu's useless. Um, so it's the fact that you know, we're keeping this this guy who's a fraud. You know, Arteta has literally had to carry him through the transfer window. Wouldn't it be nice to not have Overmars, who, again, 
just look at the players he's brought in. That's all you need to know. Look at the players that Ajax have brought in over the last three years. Look at how good they are. And look at how many of them would get in this Arsenal team. Over Mars, Arsenal legend, would take the Arsenal job. It's a no-brainer. And the fact that Newcastle could get him is worrying. Because not just because, obviously, I want him at Arsenal. But look at what Newcastle can get. They'll be getting these players. They'll be getting this very good director of football. Oh, we're stuck with Edu. So, yeah, I'm, I'm worried about it. But again, it just shows the lack of ambition from this board. Um, and that Edu, who we all know is a fraud from top to bottom, is, is still here. So, yeah, I'm, I'm slightly worried about that. There you go. OK, so I've put I've put uh, Colin's channel in the chat and now I've put Gunnar Express's channel in the chat. If you guys can do me a favor, subscribe yeah, up, to man. the channels. And then um, Natish, uh, send me yours also. CSG, do you have a YouTube channel? Uh no, bro. I'm a Twitter guy. I just do Twitter. That's about it. No worries, no worries. Yeah, I, I personally think I I'm not worried, but I am concerned that this guy's begging to come to Arsenal and we are we are not looking at him. Why why aren't we looking at him? You know why? Because we trust Edu uh, to do the job. And if Newcastle become a powerhouse, we're going to look at this moment and say we missed an opportunity here. We missed an opportunity here to get one of the best footballing uh, directors currently Ajax's project has been spectacular and I'm not giving him all the credit Ajax are a good well-run club but having him who's already been with a good well-run club and knows how it what it takes to get the right players identify the right players and has done project youth numerous times it would it would be handy and it doesn't seem like we're going in that direction yeah and I feel as well is because obviously the people running our club the Cronkies V9 they don't really know much about football anyway so no, you know, no. um, the it, fact that Edu's there and Edu's the guy that they're you know sticking with just goes to show that these people they just don't you know they, they're not sort of outreach so in terms of the... the sorry, go ahead. Yo, one second, Guna Express, you got a question directly to you. Jonathan Tibbs asks, uh, Guna Express, how many Ajax players do you think could get into Ar Arsenal's 11? Uh, Anthony would probably get in the team of a Pepe, um. Easily, in fact, even though I give Dizzy a lot of stick for Mohamed Kudus, I'd, I'd put him in the team uh, in the midfield. I think that in terms of defense, yeah, arguably nobody would, but that's mainly down to the fact that we just have quite a good defense now. Uh, goalkeeper, I mean, Onana's not even, I don't even count Onana, so you know, I'm not obviously, I'm not saying that the whole team, I'm not stupid, but there are about three or four players for me that would. would definitely get in the team or would be pushed like you would arguably would get in the team um but again it, it's Yo. not just that look at the look at the players that they've sold look at the amount of money that they've made from players like delict like they're they're one of the best well-run clubs in, in world football um and a lot of that is down to the directors of football and right now that's over Mars. so you know it's a, again it's, it's just a no-brainer for me to come to arsenal but there you yeah. go. And we touched on everything um, that we needed to talk about today. Um, there's really no need to get into in depth about the goals. The goals were nothing special. Um, the games that we have coming up, we have five games coming up. How many of them do you guys expect us to win? Uh, I just want to say one thing about the overmass thing uh, before yeah. we get into it. I don't think it matters who goes to Newcastle because at the end of the day, they're just going to throw money around. Personally, I think uh, he wants to come to Arsenal, as we already said. And even if he's at Newcastle at any point of time, I think if Arsenal goes calling for him, he'll jump the ship. Because he is ready to leave everything that he's done at Ajax and come to Arsenal right now without bothering what he has done over the years. So he's ready to come to Arsenal at any point of time. Newcastle, again, it will be a different kind of project. They're going to be throwing big money around for big players. They're not going to get into the youth system currently. They may do it over the long, long term. But currently, they're just going to put in big money for big players and try to build their brand and push it through. So, Overmars won't actually get what he has been doing at, you can say, Ajax currently at Newcastle. It's going to be a very different project. So, if Arsenal does go to him, maybe in a year or two, even if he's at Newcastle, I think he'll definitely, because of his love for Arsenal, come to Arsenal. Mm. Okay. All right, people. So, that's it for today. You guys have yourselves a wonderful day. Ramsdale's already goated. Um, we're going to do the Premier League preview show tomorrow with Hussam, uh, Neeks, Allen, uh, Mojo, and Patrick at 7 o'clock. Tomorrow is Thursday. I can't believe this week is flying by. And then Friday, I'm going to have two Leicester fans and two Arsenal fans going toe-to-toe -to -toe 
for match preview. So stay tuned for that. And then Saturday is the watch along match reaction. I'll be able to do it this Saturday because it's not the game's not on a Monday. <laughs> uh, like like it was this past week. And you guys have yourselves a wonderful day. Big up to everybody in the chat. Hi, Elijahs. Uh, I will put the timestamps in the video afterwards. Actually, anyone who wants to reach out to me, who actually wants to help me out doing timestamps, because I'm struggling to get all the exact times for certain things. If you guys are watching and you, and you could do that, and you could help me out, that would be great. But yeah, don't forget to subscribe to Colin's channel, Natisha's channel, and Guna Express's channel. All in the all in the all in the uh, all in the chat. If you guys haven't already seen it, here is Gunnar Expresses. Uh, here's Natisha's, and here is my guy Collins, right? And also, while you guys are at it, do not forget to also jo join as a member if you'd like to join as a member. And finally, don't forget to join the AFTV Discord server, not Arsenal Fan TV Discord server, but Arsenal fans made a Discord server, so check it out. And and I and I post a lot of my content in there, so you guys can get direct notifications when my content's going live. But yeah, have yourselves a wonderful day. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch. You can follow us all on Twitter. Our Twitter ads are right there. So uh, Colin actually doesn't have his, but CSG, CSG is no. on the post. The Guna Express. Mine is EGTV Egal. And you guys have yourselves a wonderful day. You already know what it is. Bang. What's going on everybody? I need you guys to go check out my channel and subscribe if you're new. And don't forget to subscribe, hit that button and hit that notification bell while you're at it, ladies and gentlemen. EGTV, you are.